If you are here and you can hear us, could you please, please, please show yourself? Whoa! What was that? What did you hit? Did you bang into something? There's a book on the floor. Is that you with us? Did you throw that book? Did you? Show us another sign? No what? way. What? Muhammad Ali? That's what I asked out for before. Well, let's have a look. It's actually by Muhammad Ali. It's my look. That's what you know. What I said downstairs. I said, "There's no way is he going to write a story, book? Yeah. My own story." I'm stunned. I'm absolutely got to match that cow. I can't quite get my head around that. Why haven't we freaked out? Why have we not run a mile, cow? I think I'm intrigued. I'm more intrigued than because than scared. I think. If you do want us to go, and we will go, can you please move another book for us? Maybe take one off the shelf. Throw it across the room, maybe. Stu. What? Stu, I saw, I've caught it. I've caught that on I camera. I saw it coming out, Carl. Carl, I saw that thing coming out. Thank you. If that... <laughs> I, I, oh, jeez, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say, Carl. The investigation of Dartford Library had been incredibly eventful, but what would Dr Kieran O'Keefe make of it, and in particular, the amazing book phenomena that we had all witnessed? Dartford Library was truly a unique location for the Most Haunted team to investigate. They had never investigated a library before, but also because of the phenomena that happened at that particular location, it makes it a Most Haunted first. At various points in vigils, in the attic bookstore, people reported kind of physiological reactions. Some people reported headaches at certain places, and also other people said there was kind of a, an oppressive atmosphere, almost an evil one. At various points, Yvette even said she didn't even want to go into the bookstore. Now, it's not surprising this occurred, because if you simply look at the room, it evokes that sort of atmosphere anyway. You tie that in with previous accounts of people who are in the attic bookstore and the phenomena that happened with them, and also the whole narrative that had been built up the whole evening by David Wells and some of the accurate information that he picked up on. But by far the most impressive phenomena was related to the books in the attic bookstore. On a vigil with Carl and Stuart, a book about Muhammad Ali proved to be quite significant. It's almost as though Stuart had predicted that that book would be removed from the shelves, as if by unseen hands. In quite a large vigil, there are a number of occasions when books appeared to fall off the shelves of their own accord. Kathleen, have you got books on philosophy? Oh, oh there you go. What's that one? Socrates. 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 We said that downstairs. Now this is phenomena that ties in with previous eyewitness testimony to the point where librarians even actually report going towards a shelf to pick out a particular book and that book falling out. So the intention is there and the book falls out. All in all, Dartford Library was a unique location but the attic bookstore seemed to deliver. As far as the most haunted team are concerned, what they witnessed was genuine paranormal activity. I myself was impressed, but still have to remain sceptical. Our time at Dartford Library had been a fascinating and fruitful experience. We would not easily forget our encounters with Kathleen or the eerie book phenomena. Something not easily explained was at work in that building. Until next time, sleep tight. Okay, save your seats. I'll tell you why in a second. First of all, let me remind you there's more paranormal activity in 30 minutes when the haunting evidence team go on the hunt for a former beauty queen who's mysteriously disappeared. Now, back to tonight's Most Haunted, and we're going behind the scenes of the library next for the inside track on the investigation. Most Haunted Extra is in two minutes.